Hello and welcome to my 5 tips for a better presentation. This video is not only for PowerPoint users, it's also for people who use graphic design and presentations overall, so let's head over to the video, let's not waste any time. Alright, number one will be stay consistent, use color scheme. I know, I know, this one might be very obvious, but it's important to showcase this point. Using color schemes in your presentations is pivotal. It smooths out the entire design process because you do not have to constantly think what color am I going to use next. And of course, who doesn't like color schemes? Everything is easier and looks better. Personally, I use a website called colors.co, sometimes colorhunt.io and of course color.adobe.com is also very great. Number two, and this is a big topic in itself and I'll just scratch the surface. Sans serif fonts, preferably. The difference can be depicted on this picture. Serif fonts are more decorative and as the name suggests, have serifs within the letters. Those little tails or feet are generally more suitable for bigger blocks of text because they create a line and your eye is easier tracking through the text. On the other hand, we have our great sans serif fonts, which have a cleaner and more modern sophistication and look to it. For titles and attention grabbing sentences, which is exactly what we want for our presentations, sans serif fonts are currently a great choice and they tend to have the upper hand when it comes to design. Number three is to inspire yourself. How often are we stuck? How often do we not want to start a design process we are clicking around at our PC not knowing what to grab on. What I do at this point is to bring myself in a design mood. To bring yourself in a design mood you can visit some places, of course it can be Dribble and Behance, if you're looking for general graphic design, it can be slideshare.net if you are looking for more PowerPoint and presentation oriented stuff. And what's usually my last step is to preview a few websites which sell PowerPoint templates to see what people are currently designing. I'm for example watching templatemonster.com, creativemarket.com, graphicriver.net. All those websites have great not only PowerPoint but overall graphical resources which can quickly inspire you to do something great. Number four, pretty obvious, will be use high quality images. Who doesn't like a good image? Whether it is to reinforce your message, add some variety to your design or simply make a background. You can of course go for a premium selection but you can also use free websites like pixabay.com, unsplash.com, stocksnap.io and of course more like negativespace.co, gratisography.com. There are of course plenty more. What's important with those websites is that they have pictures with Creative Commons Zero License, which entitles you to use the pictures both for private and for commercial projects. Okay, the last but not least, or least but not last, is considering balance. Right or wrong is not always the same. You need to consider balancing the amount of content versus the amount of design you see on a slide. Consider your audience, your speaking, your skills, count it all in and decide then. Just like I'm doing in this video, as you can see I'm keeping it like pretty informative and trying not to overwhelm you with information. I'm showing one element or three elements at a time so you have something to focus on. With that I want to close my fifth point. This will sum up this video, I hope those tips were useful. If you want to learn PowerPoint like a champ and support my channel, please consider purchasing one of my courses, you have the links down below in the description. As for the rest, thank you for listening to this video and let's head over to next ones like that.